Gypsies, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. Is it Friday? I'm, I, I'm all, I do that every time. I don't know why. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Friday. Yes, it's Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Dollar Tree haul day. So I got some stuff at the Dollar Tree the other day, um, but I didn't quite have enough for a haul. So I went to Snow, found some more stuff, found some new stuff, some stuff I didn't know existed. So we are just going to dive in here and... Um, and see what we got. Number one, just a Boro item. Boom. That's it. Boro. Number two. Um, oh man, it's mixed up. No. Okay. So let me show you guys this. This was the only one that I could find. Like, I don't know where they were hanging or if this was the last one. I mean, I'm not complaining because look at this color. It's absolutely fabulous, but it's a back scrubber and it's the, you know, the whatever you call this. Like, I don't even know what you call that, but I have like the little thing that you, you know, I, I have the dish gloves, like I have the body washer thing like that. And I thought, why not get the back scrubber? So I kind of like this. Um, I don't know. I can't wait to give it a whirl. The hand thing in the, in that, that you keep in the shower that you wash yourself with, just a little review on that. I kept dropping it. Like it did good, it lathered good and everything, but there's something I just kept dropping it. So, you know, that got kind of irritating with these handles though. I mean, you shouldn't be dropping it, but I was glad to find that because I did see that somewhere. Uh, somebody had posted a picture and I'm like, oh, cool. So yes, I grabbed that. And then I grabbed this right here. And this is just, I don't even know. I might, I'm going to start doing some videoing like in my bedroom. Um, I have a new shelf in there a couple of new shelves in there and um, like I think I'm going to start doing a little bit of videoing in there coming up. So I just thought this would be kind of cute to put on that shelf. I just love the boho vibe of it. Somebody asked me the other day like what is boho and it's just like a type of a, a way that you decorate or dress that has it's like bohemian um, and I don't really know what else to say about that. I've always just known like the boho style when I see it and this is it like you know it, it's usually something else that I found that's boho I'll go ahead and show you since we're on the boho thing but this right here and I found two of these which is really cool and this is a boho style so this is a uh, towel and tissue holder and I just thought that this was just really really cool um, like you could put your toilet paper on it if you wanted to or you could put your um this like hand towel you know hanging on the wall I love this idea I feel like there's more things we could do with this as well like hang it up and put a bunch of colorful um um, um, um scarves or something or use this as a scarf holder I don't know I just feel like there's a lot you can do with this it has this wooden ring here and when I saw this I'm like yes so I don't know if I'll let you get a good a good look at that it's just good vibes only nothing really special like there's good vibes on, only things everywhere I feel like but I felt like these were special I really really love these so yes these are really cool so if you have any ideas for these guys let me know you know I value y'all's opinion so much I do um, and then I got this right here for Jack. She usually like whenever I put my makeup on in the morning, now that she's not in school, she loves to come in there with me. Um, a lot of times she'll put her makeup on. Sometimes we'll go places. Sometimes I have to go alone. Um, but she doesn't have a makeup brush, which I bought her probably 50. Nah, not that many. I bought her some in the past, but she can't keep up with anything. But anyway, I just got her one of these. It's this, I think it's sassy and chic. I don't know. Wet and wild. Wet and wild just for her blood. And then I'm going to hold this product until the other one comes along. Okay. Let me go ahead and put this TP down on the floor out my way. All right. Let's go. Okay. So I found some of these which were not out of the box yet. And the lady, like, I know they think that, that I get in their boxes and stuff. And 
I don't really. I mean, this was in a box, but it was sitting in the floor in front of the makeup and several of them were already gone. So it's not like I opened up the box and got it out, but I did see that it was a lab, uh, you know, one of the lab products. I just wanted to see if I had one or not and I didn't. So this is a new product from the lab two. It is the brush it off. It's the makeup brush cleansing pad. So I really needed a good makeup brush cleansing pad. So I went ahead and got it. So, and I love this bright yellow look of it. Um, almost a zombie green color, but I only got one because I noticed that the lady came back over to that aisle, the one that was unpacking stuff. And I didn't want to get more than that because I don't know. I just got a bad vibe. Just sometimes you just get a bad vibe off people, you know? I don't think they like me in that store. I really don't. Like, I just get a bad vibe when I go in there, and that's my main store. Like, why wouldn't they like me? I mean, all I do is go in there and buy stuff, you know? Maybe it's because I usually have a lot. I don't know. I just I, Maybe they're just miserable souls. I don't know. Um, anyway, I found these that are new. These are going to go for the 20K giveaway. Um, I just love these. I got, I couldn't decide on which two colors to get. So I went ahead and got all three. These are the ones, um, it says you're like really pretty, you know, it reminds me of the Valley girl days. You guys remember the Valley girl days? Me and my friend was so Valley girlish, like totally, like totally, you know, anyway, I don't know, but you're like really pretty. So <laughs> anyway, um, we also went through a Canadian you know, do you remember those Canadian guys like back in the 80s? I can't remember their names now, but they had a way of talking and we talk like that forever. But anyway, I just love these. They're brush holders, I guess. You can use them for brush holders, but you could use them for other things as well. And these colors are just also bright and vibrant. These are the only three colors that I saw. So definitely going for the 20K giveaway. And then also for the 20K giveaway, I grabbed these right here and I got a couple of these. Um, they had them in a black and a brown a while back. So this is just the Sassy and Chic brand, but these are really good size cosmetic bags. And they have like this little uh, faux leather strip right here. And it's just like a vinyl. It's it's really nice size. And I just thought this would be perfect to cram down some um, awesome name brand cosmetics in for the giveaway. I'm definitely going to be including several because I am going to be using a large box from the post office instead of the medium like I usually do. So I'll be able to cram a ton in there. These are, these giveaways is going to be pretty awesome. There will be two winners and the boxes will be crammed packed. So I haven't said that. I found these gorgeous. I feel like these are like very kind of chic, you know, they're like not, you know, I don't know. I just love the color, the ivory. I just think it's really pretty. Okay. Like they're so pretty. Okay. So I found this and which I feel like I've hauled these before in the past, but I don't know what I've done with them. So I just got one and it's just the time to sparkle or the, the sparkle shop. It's a Brett which I've got it in my hand. I'm getting ready to put it in my hair because I was honestly looking for my barrette this morning to put in my hair because I just felt like it would be cute in there. So since I put my bangs kind of back, hold on. Let's see. Oh yes. And it actually worked. So Anyway, I just think that's cute. They also had circles. I'm not sure if they have anything, had any other kind or not, but I love that. Like whenever I put my hair up like that, I like to have a little something. Usually I throw a little lotus flower in there, but I didn't have one. So I'm kind of loving it. Um, okay. Here's the other thing I'm saving. This is something new and it's only sassy and chic, which is, I love it. I love it so much for sassy and chic to do this check these out. I absolutely love these. They also had them in black. I didn't get any for the 20k giveaway. I wanted to try them myself first just to see if they were kind of worth it. I'm super excited to try these. Um, so it is just the makeup blender sponges and you have one that's kind of flat on top like that. I love the sizes of these. These would be great for a travel bag or something like that. And then this shape of this one here, I just 
just love these. Now, the black ones looked a little more chic, but sometimes I like some color, so I was just really digging this pretty pink. Um, so, yes, I'm super excited to try those. I, that's, like, my favorite find, I believe. Like, I'm, I was loving those. And then I found some new nails, and I couldn't decide, like, if they were too long for me or not. Granted, like, I've got these bad boys on now, but I feel like these are even longer, and I don't know if I can deal with it. Now, these are pretty pointed, but they're not quite as pointed as these. And I'm always afraid, like, afraid, like, whenever I take my contacts out, I might skewer my eyeball and just, you know, have my eyeball dangling there because, like, these bad boys are sharp. Let me show you. Um, so, we have, it's from the B Color brand. They're stiletto shaped, which is, you know, the sharp ones. And so these right here are just like a solid pink, but I really am loving these. I don't know. Sometimes I really like a long nail, but some like usually after I wear long nails, I can't wait to get a short nail on. I feel like these nails has been with me for a while, so I'll probably be changing them out this weekend. But um, I'll be going short. So in the meantime, though, I'll have these waiting. So this is just like um, like a little classic pink, Tiffany pink color. So I love those. And then this one right here, I don't guess there's names to these. I'm doubting it. These are tips. But as you can see, if you look down here, they're different colors. I think there's a light blue, a purple, and a pink. And that's that's the only... That's the only colors that I see, which that would be a really cute little, I don't know. I just think it'd be really cute. So I got those and then I got these. Every now and then I love a good red nail. I think a red nail would look really good with this outfit, but I really love a good red nail sometimes. So I'm really loving these. So hopefully they'll hold out um, sometimes with the cheaper brands of nails. Like if you're wearing them, especially the long ones, and, and, and you know, sometimes you run your ram your nails into something, like the nail will bend and get like a crease in it and just look cruddy and won't never be like a straight. So I'm hoping that these are going to be strong enough to hold, to hold, you know, to hold. Okay. And then the other day, you guys saw me get this stuff for another one of my planters that I'm going to be making. Um, um, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'll do a video on that. I, I, I just don't feel like people would be very interested. But if I do it, I just, I definitely will post it over on Instagram. I might do a small TikTok. So if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you can check those out. I'm, I'm Twisted Gypsy 32 on both of those. So if you're not following me, you um, might like what I post over there because I do like a lot of my favorite items, especially on TikTok. And if I take pictures up in Dollar Tree, I'll put those over on Instagram and usually what I'm having for dinner and stuff like that and just personal family pictures, I put over there as well. So if you're not following Follow me on Instagram or TikTok. Go check me out, Twisted Gypsy 32, and say hi. Okay, so this is just another one of the plant plant hangers. So yes, I'm trying to be working on my breezeway and stuff. I haven't got anything together yet though. So it's gonna be a job that I'm gonna have to take one step at a time. Um, anyway, like I speaking of pictures, I took a ton of pictures of the new like probably geared toward Father's Day, definitely geared toward Father's Day. The Some of the things that I saw, well, this is the only thing that I bought as far as that, and I just thought this was kind of cool. This is a shave soap, which I think my son that lives with me would like this. So it's from the Be Pure brand, and it's shave soap, and it says, helps you achieve a closer shave and reduce razor bumps. So it's kind of cool the way it looks. I'd love to know how it smells. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smell it since I'm not doing like Father's Day bags. It smells good. It has like a manly smell to it and all that. But I just thought that he might like that. Anybody that shaves, you could even use it on your legs, girls. Like, you know, it's it says for men, but hey, I'd go, I'd go in on my legs with it. Um, <laughs> I know you, you guys are probably thinking, what the crap? Was she buying the whole store? On this stuff. Um, yes, basically. Um, this is the Aroma Guru 
the room spray spearmint patchouli let me just say yesterday i went um and got an oil change and an inspection sticker i rode around with a bad inspection sticker for a few days but um i wanted to spray and i thought i had one of these in my console i wanted to spray it in my car like before i got out so my car would smell amazing and i didn't i didn't have any and i was bummed and i'm like dang it and i do have several bottles at home but those are my home ones so guys oh my gosh if you have not tried this i'm just saying it's the best stuff in the world like i love it so much and now I got one in my console so yes i love it so so much um i saw these which they had a lot of varieties of these and i actually got this one for fifi because i just think it's so cute it's a little trinket tray and it's a cute leaf i don't know they had like leaves and flowers and stuff but i think this is just so bright and vibrant and just maybe to even put by your nightstand if you take your rings or your watch or your earrings off at night which i don't think she does any of those but it would be cute to put something in i don't know but as much as she loves plants and stuff i think she'll like it i just think it's super super cute and i did take pictures of them which i will put on instagram as well i don't know if i said that Okay, so I got a bunch of stuff here I'm trying to save because I like that stuff the best. Let me dig in here. So I do have my receipt here. If you want my fetch referral code, please let me know. Um, and it's in the description box. Um, I got me a water because I went off and forgot my water today. And I'm going to get me. Oh, I hate when I do that. I hate when I do that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I see. I see. I see. I see how we're working today. Uh, this has been one of those days. You know, I didn't think I was ever getting out of the house. Okay. So, just got my hubby. Um, I give him. I give him to my hubby, and he shares them. You know, throughout the day or whatever. Just the double bubble. Um, they have been drinking or drinking, chewing the bazooka. I can't have any gum whatsoever on my Whole30 program that I'm doing. No gum or mints or anything like that. Even if it's sugar-free, I can't have it. So I got this for them, and they can chow down on that or what else. Um, put it over here, out the way. And then grab these for my hubby. It's the Toast Chi, and he loves these, the peanut butter uh, on the cheese crackers. Yeah, Toast Chi. And then I got, and these are so cute. Look at these. Okay. So, you know, the hot or cold iPads, which honestly, if you have a migraine or a sinus headache and it's just hurting behind your eyes or around your eyes, these bad boys right here are lifesavers. Um, if you have puffiness around your eyes, they're really good. But I got them mainly because of that that is fantastic look at the print it's it's the night sky moon and stars i just couldn't pass it up i absolutely loved it so yeah i think they also had a navy blue background but this is more of a black background i just grabbed that one and then i just got some more gloves just for jobs around the house so I'm, I, I just honestly need to just break down and buy a box of gloves. Um, but yeah, so you get six pairs of these nitrile gloves and then one pair of the Brillo Basics. So just grab those. Put these back in here. Certain things like I'll, I won't be showing like on my TikToks and I know like what things. So I can just kind of put them back. Okay. What's in here? Oh, oh, so I didn't show you guys. Y'all's probably thinking that she's crazy. Um, so I got this stuff to do another, um, another succulent plant holder thing. To, so I got the stuff to make two of them right now. And I was thinking I showed you guys, but I didn't. I guess this is just the stuff that I had um in my last haul but I, or, or my last bag but i haven't done yet so hold on let me get to that stuff first um yeah right here we go here we go so 
I chose a different planter this time, another receipt, which I hope I don't lose those. Um, so I chose a different planter with a really good lip underneath just for like that holder thing. But I think these are going to be really, really cute once I get them done. So basically... I got one of these, which um, I'll probably put like some newspaper or something down in the bottom. And then this right here, I may not even have to because this right here is going to cram in there like perfect. Like I want it to be pretty even with the top like that. And then what I'm going to do is basically put these succulents in, you know, all around. Like I, I would like for the whole top to be kind of filled in. You know, I'll, I'll put it down in the this um but i want the whole top to be kind of filled in with succulents let me show you guys what i'm talking about uh, i have different succulents so this is um these are all called succulent picks even though like i don't know if that looks more like a fern or something i feel like this one would be really cute in the center and then all of the other these other regular succulents around the outside edges so i got that one this pretty blue I got this one here, which I think is gorgeous. I love a bunch of different splashes of color. Um, I got this one. It has like the pretty purple. And I got this one that has like a kind of champagne pink color to it. And then I got this one. Too. So all just imagine like all of these together. Like, and you can kind of imagine it, like if I take that block out. Well, not really. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm getting these together. Ah, come here. Okay, so just kind of imagine, just kind of imagine that, okay? Like, they're all going to be down in there. It's going to be really pretty, and it's going to be hanging, like, from in a hanging basket under my breezeway, just to give, like, an uh, air of life, but not life because I can't keep life alive. So yeah, I can't keep life alive. Okay. Uh, that needs to be a t-shirt, right? I can't keep life alive, guys. Losing it. Okay. Next. I got this for my hubs. Um, he just needed a new water bottle and I thought this was manly looking, right? Um, and it seems to have a good closure, which, you know, that's important. So he just keeps it beside of his bed, uh, bedside table for nighttime and stuff. So anyway, I grabbed him that. And then I grabbed another um, tablecloth just for our next outside cookout. So I don't know, it's probably going to be the 4th of July. This month is already flying by, right? What is this, the third? Yeah. Um, but anyway, it's not really fine by. Well, I don't know. We may have one maybe in the middle of this month. I'm not sure, but I think we're going to have a, a, not really a cookout, but a pizza party, which I can't even do a pizza party. I don't know. I don't have to be included in that. I can get my own stuff, but just like a, another cookout and we're going to pressure wash like everything we own outside and like everybody's going to take turns. And you know, sometimes it's good to have grown kids that can actually help you because when you get older, you know, like I, I don't want to pressure wash, you know, I mean, I don't mind taking my turn. Believe me, I do my share of work around there. So don't get me wrong there. Don't get me wrong, guys. Okay, so I just needed another brush. Um, once you use these so many times, like the bristles get all flattened out and they're just not that good anymore. So I just went ahead and got me a new one. I always like to get the Brillo ones, but they didn't have any. But this is a good, this, this, that bad boy will work just fine. I always like to make sure they have this like right here. It's like a scraping edge. That thing comes in so handy. So yes. And then um, look at these little barrettes I found. They are shaped like stars. They also had butterflies and another one that was just like shaped regular, but they had like a pattern on them that kind of made them a little bit sparkly. Um, I think they also had gold, uh, silver and gold, or it could have been a rose gold. But of course I had to have the ones with the stars. I absolutely think these are so cute. So yes. So yes. And then I got a couple more of these. Now, I know they have the red, white, and blue ones, but 
I have got a lot of um, solar lights and still I'm planning on doing like my flower beds. I still haven't got to that. Like, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, but anyway, got these like I, I was planning on doing it the other day, but the nursing home, like where my mother-in-law was at, she's home by the way. They brought her home and didn't even tell us that they were bringing her home. She's immobile. Like they were supposed to work with her on physical therapy till she was able to be mobile and walk and get to her bathroom and all that stuff. They didn't do it. They sent her home without warning, without anything. They sent home diabetes medicine, which she's never had diabetes in her life. No needles. Like, we don't know how to give a shot. I don't know that, like, I, we have been absolutely crazy the past few days trying to get things straightened out. So, anyway, just threw that in there. Um, but she's home. But anyway, that's why I haven't been able to do, like, all the stuff I've been having planned. But I love these blue ones. I just think if you had all blue, like, that would be beautiful. Because they look so pretty lit up. Okay, and then I saw these um, and, and just grabbed them because... They are the Sharpies, and what got me is the colors. They're the Mystic Gems colors, and I just think that these would be really great. Um, sometimes I just like to write on packages and stuff with, with Sharpies and different colors and stuff, and sometimes you just need a Sharpie, you know, to write on stuff in the fridge and be like, this is mom's. Don't touch it. Nah, I'm just kidding. No, not really. But, you know, sometimes I have stuff that I don't want nobody to touch because I have a meal planned around it. And if they eat it and then I go to make the meal, you know, you know, um, I just saw these. I got one for Jack and one for Ray. I thought they were cute. It's just my dress up mermaid and my dress up princess. It's from Beaver Books. And I just thought they were just super cute. Let me just kind of flip through. I just hadn't seen these before and you can dress up your mermaid and your princess and comes with like stickers and different things and I just thought they were just like super super cute. You can color this one and yeah so I just love stuff like this. I don't know. I like I'll be wanting to get involved I'm sure. Let me make a little table. Okay and then last but not least in this bag i got one of these little dusters just because of those little shelves in my room it has a lot of different little things on there and when i go to dust it i don't want to have to take every single thing off so i'm hoping i can just kind of dust in and around those little things and you know just keep the majority of dust away and i like these little things i've always thought they were cute and I guess you can buy replacement pads or something because it looks like like this will slide off. Yeah. So I don't know if they sell them at Dollar Tree. I can't remember. Or they might have different ones. I don't know. Um, okay. So let me put this back in here. And this. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. <clears throat> Oh, these bags. Oh, okay. So I found, well, let me just show you guys these. Um, my mother-in-law wanted some more of these if I saw them. So I picked up four packs of these. This is the Yardley disposable washcloth. So I got four packs of those. And then something I was excited to find more of is this right here. So this is the Maybelline Super Stay. This is in the color Porcelain, which is pretty perfect for my skin. Um, the perfect color, which I will show you guys right there. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect. It has your own blending brush on top there. Um, I got me one and Jack one because she, she loves her foundation. Um, they only had three and the other one I'm going to throw in one of the beauty boxes, which I, I have several things that I only have one of. So, you know, that they'll be mostly the same, but a little different. But anyway, I love when they have like the Maybelline products and stuff up in there. So yes, I am excited about that. Oop. Okay. Don't fall. Just don't fall. You're falling. You're falling. Okay. 
and then that's all of those washcloths. Okay, so let me show you this last thing here. Um, and I was excited, but I gotta have my glasses, which I don't know where they're at. Oh, yeah, well, hold on. Let me get this. Let me get this. Um, move this I have some more stuff in here let me just go ahead and take this out too let me show you all this I just got some of the big league chewing gum I don't want to wait any longer to take that in but this is what I had all my stuff in and I feel like I'm just gonna stop right there um but I did get some big league chewing gum but what I'm wanting to show you is um another makeup find which I was excited about but I can't I, I couldn't tell in the store like what brand it was because I didn't have my glasses on. So I'm like, okay, I'll look what I get out. So let me get my glasses out of here. I think I accidentally, yeah, here they are. Accidentally took them in the other day. These are the ones that go in my car. So uh, a lot of you guys comment on these glasses and these are Dollar Tree. They are from Dollar Tree. So um, yeah. I love these. They're so cute. Oh, I just about broke it though. Okay, so let me see what brand this is. Let me just take this out and show you guys. Hold on. Now, obviously, I got some for the giveaway and some for me, but look at that. Yes. You know what this is? Okay. I don't even know. Like, let me look. So this right here, let's see, who is this from? Forever Kissable Lip Stain. Ooh, I love a good lip stain. These are the lip stains. This is from Ardell. I have no idea if Ardell is a good brand or not. But so I got three of these and these are lip stains. So one for me. And two for the giveaway. Um, let me see if it gives me a, a name. I love the names of stuff like this. Bad decisions. Uh, is this going to be a bad decision putting this on? I don't know. But we're going to check one out. Let's check them out. <coughs> and then I got these right here, which these I think said lip liner. This is in the color Sultry Red. Ardell liquid lip liner and then this is I think I got two different they also it's like two different colors do they don't they they do don't they okay so this is in the color sweet hunger and this is serious risk so sweet hunger serious risk and this is another sweet hunger oh is it or is it serious risk okay one sweet hunger, <laughs> two serious risks. Okay, so anyway, let's check out one of these. Let's do the serious risk. No, sweet hunger. Gosh. All right, let's see what this liquid lip liner is all about because I have never seen this brand. I don't know. Have you guys seen Ardell? And is it a name brand? I'm sure it is. Like this packaging is really awesome. This is called No Slip. And this is forever kissable. So forever kissable. I like that. All right, no slip lip liner. Ooh, I'm I'm excited to see. Like these look like they really would go together. Like if you wanted to line your lips. How's this go? Okay. Oh, it's like a felt tip. Oh my gosh. I don't know how well I would do a felt tip on my lips. Okay, let's do a Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's not that bad as far as being bright. Well, let me look. I got a little bit of lipstick on, but not much. I don't know. No slip, baby. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I just did the outline. I don't know. I feel like this other lipstick is just kind of getting in the way. So anyway, let's definitely try the lip stain out though. 
because I love a good lip stain. Like, I have some that Fifi got me for Christmas that I love. And then you can always throw a gloss over it if you don't like the matte looking finish it gives you. Oh, okay. So let's see what this is all about. Oh, this is a great, this is great as far as the same color as the other one. Where's the lip lining? All right. I got to go up on Walmart. Let's hope I don't slip up. No slip ups. Honestly, a lip stain needs to be by itself. Haha, <laughs> I don't know. Huh. A lip stain over lipstick is not ideal. You guys are like, come on already. Okay. So, I mean, a lip stain over lipstick is not uh, perfect. By no means. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll work on it after the video before I go to Walmart. So, anyway, I was just super thrilled to find all these bad boys. Like, I love when I go in there and they have new stuff out. I'm like, yes, because I'm excited not only for me, but because I know that I get to give some away in my giveaways. And because I always try to make them fabulous. And this right here is going to add a much gorgeous color to the giveaways. So, yes. So, anyway, let me know what if, if, you, if you guys know about Ardell. Is it a name brand? Is it expensive? Is it not? Let me know if you know. Like, I'll probably still look it up. But, anyway, um, yeah. So, that is all, guys. That's all from this haul. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Just want to say, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. So, whenever I do do the giveaway and everything um that you will be able to enter because you do have to be a subscriber to win also um i know a lot of people are asking like or, or telling me they want to enter the giveaway how do they enter um it has to, you have to wait until i get to 20k for the beauty giveaway okay for the t-shirt giveaways i'm doing one at 18k one at 19k the beauty giveaway is 20K. So whenever I reach these milestones, just watch for the video. There will be a specific giveaway video. It will tell you everything you need to do and, you know, subscribe, enter a certain phrase or, you know, we may make it fun. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But anyway, um, just watch for those videos. Okay. Um, anyway, I just want to say thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day. And until next time, bye.